let's see, rather than talking about one specific game, I was going to tell you a little bit about something I did last weekend, which was uh, I ventured out to San Francisco to visit the Southtown Arcade. Whoa, whoa, you, you went out of the house? I know, right? It turns out there's, yeah. a, there's actually a door that opens up and you can go outside. <laughs> Just figure this out. Awesome. Good job. Uh, thank you. Um, and as we were talking about a little before the show, the, the uh, arcade scene in the United States is sort of on life support. But um, these guys... To put it mildly. <laughs> right. Whatever is like a step down from life support. <laughs> yeah. um, but these guys at Southtown Arcade have put together this uh, this cool little uh, sort of just classic arcade that's got a bunch of uh, fighting games in it. And it's uh, when I went there, it was packed with people. They're all sort Yay! of that's great playing fighting games, helping <laughs> each other out. Like uh, there are definitely a few guys who are teaching uh, the newbies how to play, which was which is awesome. very cool to see. Uh, and it was good. They've got a, a great selection if you're into fighting games. They've got uh, Street Fighter Four Arcade Edition. They've got a custom Marvel vs. Capcom Three machine, and then some of the classics like um, Capcom vs. SNK Two, one of my personal Yum. favorites. Uh, Third Strike, King of Fighters Thirteen. And I think they, I even saw a uh, Street Fighter II Turbo machine in there if you're a super purist. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? Yeah. That is awesome. There's no uh, uh, Namco games, though, eh? No Namco games, although... Kind of surprising. Yeah. Well, well, you got Tekken, and then nobody likes Soul Calibur, so... <laughs> so. <laughs> Are these all, like, original arcade cabinets? cabinets They're sort or... of like the Japanese-style sit-down cabinet. Like the, oh, very um, cool. The Street Fighter Four one was set up... Uh, like super Japanese style, so it's one person on uh, per cabinet. Each side, excellent, awesome. They're all along the side of the wall, so it's not like head to head. You can you can look around the cabinet and and jeer at the other player. But oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but it was cool. It's a you know nice little setup. The uh, the guys working there were great too. So uh, definitely check it out if you're in San Francisco and you like playing video games, or, or uh, if you ever have enjoyed video games at some point, it's worth checking out to show them your support. They are on. Uh, they are at 447 Stockton Street, right underneath that uh, the Stockton Tunnel, if you uh, know the area. Now, um, Southtown, that's a reference to Terry Bogart's hometown, I would assume, right? I think it's got to be, yeah. From, yeah, you would think from so, From Fatal right? Fury. Yeah. No Fatal Fury games in there, but... That you guys lost me. I just... totally just completely disconnected. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. No. Um, that's a video game, I presume, right? It is, yeah. <laughs> Back during uh, the, the Street Fighter Two craze... One of SNK's numerous attempts to cash in, for better or for worse. Oh, it's Fatal Fury. Yeah. 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 yeah cool. I also think sure? Art of Fighting takes place in Southtown as well. The first one, anyway. I could be mistaken. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it did. They they have a whole like bunch of crossovers. In, uh, I wonder if there's anything like that in New York City. You would think there might be, should be in a big city, on an arcade oh, somewhere. Oh, yeah, there are. I, I saw the one that just yeah. uh, just closed. It, it, they may have somebody might have picked it up. I forget. Um, I was watching like up. this five minute clip from the Street Fighter Four or Tekken some fighting game scene documentary, and there there's a huge arcade scene, well, huge by whatever you know, relatively by, speaking, right, yeah. <laughs> by Poughkeepsie uh, standards. <laughs> yeah. No, there there are a few uh, hardcore arcades in New York City because these oh, cool. are apparently like a group of some of the best players in the country just hang out there and all day okay. and just train. I heard the I uh, have to, uh, heard the Chinatown arcades that. good in uh, New York City. Yeah. That might be the one that I like that they went to in that little documentary I was watching. Cool, I think. kind of rings a bell. Oh, yeah, I'll have to I'll have to Google it. Maybe I could do a field report too. That'd be great. Do it. Do we? Uh, yeah, I took hey, some. Uh, took if, a few shots, so I'll, I'll put them up on the the website after the show. Oh, even better. Cool. The, you know, the hey, only... if, if we've got uh, a New York City area listeners and uh, and you know uh, of an arcade that I should go check out uh, in the city or, or near the city by any means, uh, uh, get in touch with me on Twitter or, or on the uh, on vghangover.com and let me know. If you can actually follow Randy to the arcade and take a video of him playing a fighting game, that would <laughs> that would be awesome. We should put a bounty on that. Why don't you break down crying? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I keep the, getting kicked in the head. I'll be by the claw machine. <laughs> Why am I on fire again? <laughs> you could always hire a trainer. There you go. Yeah, right. Sure, somebody will be uh, be willing to help you out. If someone can film like a Rocky style montage of you training <laughs> and becoming the best. And I, can tell, I can tell everybody I got a trainer, and they'll go, "Oh, good for you, that's great." And I'm like, oh, "No, no, no, I mean a fighting game trainer." <laughs> and that's how I lose friends. <laughs> Excellent. I gotta say, the only thing, uh, the only problem I had with the place is it was too bright. There are just lights everywhere, and you know it's supposed to be a, like a, a dark kind of arcade atmosphere, right? So. 
Yeah, smoke and yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. No, anyway, that's a kind noise. of a minor complaint. <laughs> Maybe uh, once they're uh, you know they're rolling in in cash when their popularity surges after uh, after we plug them on the show, uh, they, they can get exactly. some neon lights and, and all that everywhere. Their success is virtually assured. Yeah. Right. 